Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a breakup coaching session, you can do that by liking, oh wait, by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting blessing. Scorpio, we are going to get a look-see at who is coming towards you in love for the next seven days. <clears throat> who, what, what they want, what their true intentions are coming. Who is coming towards Scorpio? Who is about to approach Scorpio surrounding them in love, please? What is the T? Mm, this person admires you a lot. There's past life memories of abandonment, though. They deal with abandonment issues. They're going through a crisis of belief system. This person has a lot of internal insecurity, Scorp. They could be quite charming and successful. A bit of a workaholic at times. This person, why are they going through a crisis of belief? There's something here that they once thought to be true about their self, about their life love you've changed the way they think about love to a cups energy here this person may have never believed in soulmates or love at first sight or something like this and uh you have taught them differently this person though they seem to have a lot of abandonment wounds and because of that they won they act badly but it's really just all of these internal insecurities this person doesn't have great boundaries, but they're questioning everything they know to be true when it comes to love, really admiring you. This person feels like you're very successful. You may do well for yourself or you may be very good at something you do. This is definitely someone from your past. For some of you, you have children to this person, but unfortunately they are approaching you in a Knight of Wands energy. You could work with this person. Some of you work with them. You're having a workplace affair. Others, this is someone from your past that really admires you. They feel like you've been through some kind of transformation, Scorpio, and they're having a crisis of belief system. You could have really, uh, you know, really made this person start to question um their their beliefs in other ways as well whether it's about religion spirituality it seems to be about partnership and love um tell me about this person and their crisis of beliefs please this is someone who seems to be an entrepreneur or they uh know how to make money um they're crazy about you they really are but they they have a lot of one night stands they're beginning to think that this behavior is not is not where it's at also some of you may have told this person that they are picking up dark energy out here on these streets some of you may have told them that you are contaminating yourself by hooking up with all these thoughts and players or there's something that you you tried to school them on when it comes to energy some of you are dealing with someone whose house is filthy. Oh, they don't keep a clean house. And uh, it, it, there's something about that here that they're changing. Maybe they're trying to, to, to be more organized. They seem to have a lot of dark energy attached to them because of one night stands, because of hookups. They're starting to feel like maybe this is not the way to go. You could have told them you're running from love. You're never, you know, you, you always won. This is someone who hooks up with a lot of people. They have a, a laundry list of lovers. They could call at any given time, but their personal belief systems changing because of your relationship, Scorpio. They may be coming in though for a one night stand. They're very passive aggressive right now. They avoid confrontation. You could have also told them that. Like you, you just avoid having any kind of confrontation and run. There's something that you have taught this person and they're starting to question their self. They're hostile, stalking you right now. 
looks like they rebounded. They jumped into a relationship with someone way too fast. They've been on the rebound. They have a lot of behavioral issues. They're watching you. They, they could be a little addicted to you. They're trying to move on, but they can't. They don't want anyone else to have you. Scorpio, I feel like you have let this person know. I'm not just going to sit around while you come in once a week for a one night stand, once a month for a one night stand. And, and you, you can't expect me to be okay with that. Tell me about the rebound, please. There seems to be a lot of anger between the two of you. Again, poisonous situation. Be careful, Scorp. This person's got dark energy attached to them, most likely because of this rebound. Some of you, this person um, chose another lover and left you. Others, you were having an affair. This person's been married. Some of you know this person's having an affair with a married person. There seems to be some new beginning that has been uh, held off because this person is not ready. They're not healthy. They're not in a place where they can give you what you deserve and what you desire. The divine has been holding this person back. A, a, there's been a false start as well. Maybe you all tried to get back together and it lasted a few days and it fell apart again. There's some kind of false start with this person that could be to come or you already had. They seem to be coming on in for a one night stand, but they're dirty. They have dark energy attached to them, Scorpio. Be careful. They could have, they could have actual things attached to them like STDs because this is someone who just puts themselves in too many risky situations. I'm sorry for disappointing you. Will you accept my apology? This person's trying to move, let go. They're, they're trying to move on, but they can't stop their mind from escaping a world only you and them know. They seem to be fantasizing hardcore about being with you sexually, but they feel like, they could feel like you're angry. Maybe you've been really passively aggressive towards this person um, because you know they, they are with a rebound. They got into a relationship very quick after y'all broke up. They're coming in with their best game. Let me tell you, they're going to be very love bomby, Scorpio. In the next seven days, this person could reach out to you. Really uh, romantic, telling you all the right things, telling you they want to work on it, telling you they're trying to change, which they are. I will tell you that their belief system is changing. They've been working a lot, but they've been also doing things they should not do including stalking you. This person doesn't want you to move on, but they have been unable to give you what you actually desire because there is a rebound in the picture. What are they gonna do about this rebound? They may be getting ready to leave this rebound. They have abandonment wounds though, Scorp. Oh boy, double energy here and judgment in reverse. They haven't made a clear decision yet because they are in a very unhealthy space. This rebound could be the damn devil. They could have gotten their self involved with someone that's very low vibrational, but they haven't made a clear decision yet whether or not they are what they're going to do about this other person. They seem to be back and forth about it. They all say no if they don't want to lose you. The, per, the, the, the problem is, is this person's constantly seeking stability and validation because they have so many deep abandonment wounds. This could be a Gemini, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius. What are their true intentions with Scorpio, please? This person could be in high social standing. They could uh, do really well for themselves. They could actually, uh, you know, try to persuade you with money, with gifts, with taking you places for some of you. They're going round and round in their mind. Three of swords in reverse, five of wands in reverse. This person wants to come out of conflict with you. That's all they know. They don't want to fight with you. They know you've been passive aggressive. They know you know they're with a rebound. They're trying to manifest you back. They could be trying to get you to reach out by posting subliminals 
or or something like that this person could just send you a song or just a hi how are you they want you to uh pursue them when in reality they're the ones in the background admiring you watching you wondering what you are doing and why do you care dude you're laid up with another person is how i feel that's what a lot of you feel like like what do you mean you're stalking me why you got another lover kind of situation i feel like you're passively aggressive towards them like that as well like what, what do you mean you 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 know miss me you're or you're lonely this person seems to be lonely they may tell you that too but you are very aware that there's a rebound in the picture and so it's frustrating it makes you angry it seems to really upset you that this person's with a rebound, but still wanting to have one night stands with you because it is a testament to, to them and, and how much of a cheater they are. And it's all coming from abandonment wounds, guys. They're, they are having um, a bit of a transformational moment, though. Something that you said or something that you will say is about to shake this person. They seem to be thinking constantly, not sleeping, uh, really starting to question, maybe you're right. Maybe they do have dark energy attached to them. Maybe living this way isn't where it's at. I think this is someone who's always prided themselves on being a, a bachelor or a bachelorette that makes a lot of money and can, you know, uh, get as many bitches and dudes as they feel, but now they're starting to question that belief system and question maybe it is because of their childhood. Maybe it is because of their abandonment wounds. When someone has abandonment wounds, they will do one or two things. They will hold on to you um, over, like be very codependent on you and, and you know, all over you be too much or they run and keep many options because they want to make sure that they're not alone it just depends on if you are um you know your moral compass as well some people have abandonment wounds but would never cheat but they get really needy and uh you know in that way others have abandonment wounds and they're constantly running cheating and keeping multiple options this person could be an Aries. They could be going through some kind of legalities. They could have something happening here. They could have gotten arrested because of a third party, because of a karmic. Some of you, this person's coming in to tell you that they're going through a breakup or a divorce. There's been a lot of challenges in their life. The situation's been chaotic. This is someone who could have, uh, you could have had arrested or had to call the cops. Some of you here, this person gets really out of control when they're angry. They're very spontaneous. In the next six months here, your commitment will be rewarded to yourself, Scorpio. You keep healing, you keep growing, you keep working on you. This person's got to figure their self out. Although they do not want to lose you and they're coming in to tell you um, possibly that they're going through a breakup or that things have been really hard for them. They're still very explosive. They're still dealing with abandonment wounds and there's still a rebound in the background. Like this person needs to sit down somewhere and fucking heal, really. They need to go be with their self for a moment to try to heal, opposed to constantly jumping from relationship to relationship. This could be a Virgo. Mm, mm, mm. This is someone who's got anger issues, abandonment wounds. This person needs help. I'm going to put them in my prayers. I don't know who this is, Spirit, but I'm sending them love and light. This is a very wounded individual, guys. Feel bad for them. Don't, trust me. It doesn't matter what they look like. They could live in a multi-million dollar home and have multiple lovers. But this person is so unhealed and so unhappy. For some of you, this person got themselves involved with a karmic that has money because they wanted to appear to be a certain way. Now their beliefs are starting to change. Uh, in the past, they would have done anything for a little dough. But now they're starting to question that as well you may have said that to them i'm in a karmic situation i'm frustrated with myself 
and you feel like home to me. They are definitely dealing with a karmic. They are in this chaotic karmic situation and uh, they just do not know what they want to do. Their fucking head hurts. They have a headache. They cannot make a decision. They're going round and round in their mind. They've trapped their self here. They're watching you stalking. There could have been gossip more recently than not or will about their relationship. The karmic could have gotten drunk and started a fight in public or something like that. You could have heard about it. Somebody here could have dark skin, but very like mocha light, like with, with lighter eyes. Somebody here, a masculine energy, could have longer, dirty, blonde hair involved. Some of you here, this person's making a judgment call. They want to uh, reach out. You may have not have heard of them, heard from them in a while. Some of you haven't heard from this person in more than eight weeks because they've been going through whatever this is they're going through. And they're afraid that you're angry because the last time you spoke, you were really passive aggressive. Others, this person, you talk to them every day, but you know they're with a rebound and it's really frustrating that they're staying because you know why they're staying. They're staying for all the wrong reasons. This will be interesting, an interesting seven days for some of you. Taurus energy here as well. I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day. We're moving into Gemini season. By the end of Gemini season, if you don't hear from this person in the next seven days, it could be by the end of Gemini season. Something big happening in Gemini season with them. Have the greatest Sunday ever. Scorpio, today's the best damn Sunday. This is the best damn Sunday I've ever had. I'm going to just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean. I'm going to lay on my couch. I'm going to do my Sunday stuff. Lovingly.